When you start in Modern Warfare 3, your game's going to look like this. But in this video, we're going to show you how to make your game look like this. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the video. My name is B Militant, and today we're going to be going over uh, how to make your game look that much better and more clearer and sharper and more vibrant and everything you want it to look like much better than the default that you're looking at here. Uh, today we're playing Modern Warfare 3. This can work for pretty much any game as long as you have an NVIDIA graphics card. You want to download nvidia geforce experience the program which is free you probably already have it once you're in the game hit alt and z as in z then this menu will come up here and this is how you can also uh, record and stream and do all these other things but what you want to do is go over here to game filter which it tells you here you could also hit alt f3 to bring it up but here we are in the menu and then over on your left hand side you have presets uh, that you can change to your liking once i click on this one bam now you see the preset that i've gone through I've done all this testing uh, to make sure that everything you want is here. I've done a lot of testing over the last, not just a week, but multiple games over the years. And what I have going on here, as you see on the screen now, is much more closer to what you want in your game because it is sharper, it is more vibrant, vibrant. it is uh, just everything. The shadows are still there, but it's still much more uh, clear and detailed. And as you can see on the screen, it looks much, much different. And I'm going to go over all these things and, and why you want to turn them on. And on the left hand side here, you will see add filter right away. When you guys came to this number one or whatever piece that you picked on, you're not going to have anything on this left hand side. But what you're going to want to do is hit to you want to go to hit uh, filter and then go down and add the filters that you see. I have on the screen here, color details and brightness and contrast. I'll go over these real fast just to explain to you a little bit of what you want. Uh, so when you add color onto this uh, filter, it's going to have tint and tint intensity up. You want to turn those down because that's just changing the tint, like the hue, like how blue or whatever your screen is. You don't want any tint. You want to turn that off. Temperature, you want to leave at zero as well because yet again, that's going to, if I just show you here, look how it's changing. I can show you guys. See, that doesn't make sense, right? You want to leave it at zero. Uh, I'll change that later. I'm not going to mess with that right now. Vibrance. Uh, I have it on 44 or around 44. This is all stuff that you can change. But in my opinion, I've done a lot of testing on various games, especially Modern Warfare 3. And I've gotten this down. As you can see in the background, there's still shadows. There's still uh, everything's vibrant. It pops. Uh, it's easy on the eyes, but it's not too vibrant. It's not too over the top to where the screen is extremely bright and it's going to hurt your eyes. And it's gonna, we're going to be going over more stuff here. So I recommend around 44 vibrance. You can turn it up if you want to, but then I think things start looking washed and maybe not as professional. So now uh, you also go to details, which you added details as well. Uh, so sharpen. Uh, I only have it on 19. And the reason why you don't want to turn sharpen up too much is here. I can go make it even more sharp. There's like 99. Uh, sharpen but I'm gonna go back to or down to around 19 the reason you don't want too much sharpness is because when you are gaming and especially if you want to be competitive at gaming if everything is if everything is too sharp your eyes are gonna be scanning more and it's gonna hurt your eyes and your eyes are gonna get worn out over time and you're gonna get headaches and because everything is so sharp that your eyes have to take it all in and when you're looking at so much stuff and it's that much sharper uh, it's gonna hurt your eyes and it's gonna give you eye strain over time. So you don't want to make things too sharp And I found around 19 to 20 here looks good as you can see in the background I'm um, sorry. I'm uh, here. Let me I can just clean I don't want to be laying on this truck this whole time, but here I'll just move my position and We will go back to I wish I could just do this and stand but it's not gonna want me to do that uh, So whatever we'll, we'll continue with the video <laughs> laying down uh, so clarity clarity i do like adding up uh and i have it around 57 to 60 percent uh if i turn it down you can see things aren't as sharp i think adding clarity is better than adding sharpness so i have i'm gonna go back to around 60 percent there and leave it at that as you can see if you were paying attention there uh, i'll do it one more time i'm gonna go down in clarity and i'm gonna go up in clarity and you want to leave it around 50 to 60 percent in my opinion like I said, I've done a lot of testing on a lot of different maps, on a lot of different games. Uh, HDR toning, uh, if you turn this up, see how bright the screen and white and washed out it gets? You don't want that much, so you, we're going to go back to around 
uh, I think 13% that I had it. Bloom, you never want on. You don't want Bloom on. It's just going to add yet again. Look, look at this terrible effect. Turn it off every time you don't want it. Uh, going down to brightness and contrast. Exposure. I have on negative four because if you turn exposure up, you can see how much brighter things get. But this is going to just shock your eyes. It's too bright. Um, and any if you have viewers or whatever, I mean, look how bright this is. It's just going to be overbearing. So you could go to zero, but I like just a little negative. I'll leave it on negative three for now. Contrast, 15% uh, highlights, 10% shadows, 21%. Uh, Sorry, this game is ending, so I kind of have to get this done quickly. Uh, but those are what you want to add. And I'm going to switch over and talk about this more uh, because this game is ending, <laughs> unfortunately. But those are the settings you want, and we'll continue in a second. What's up, everybody? We are back on Favela in Modern Warfare 3. I want to go over the last bit of settings. I had to rush through them because the game was going to end, and I kind of want to explain the settings. I don't want to just tell you guys to copy something and not explain it. So let's go back into game filters and the brightness and contrast. So exposure. You don't want it to be too high because then it's going to be too bright and hard for people's eyes to see. So I have it around a negative three uh, contrast. I have it 15% because if you go too much into the contrast, it's going to be hard to see people in those dark corners. So go back to 15% highlights. I have on 10% because if you turn it up, it will make some things brighter. But when you're closer towards like lights and stuff like that, it's just going to kill your eyes. Uh, I found 10% to be uh, the right amount. Shadows, I have at 21%. We turn it up too much yet again you can see all the darkness in all those corners not a good thing so go back to around 21 percent it also looks more realistic though if you just turn all the shadows off it, your screen looks flat and it's just not appealing to look at uh i found around 21 percent. this looks much more kind of realistic and just better uh gamma zero percent now with all these settings right um I'm doing this because I want you guys to bookmark this and save this because I have to come back to this sometimes too. And when you get uh, driver updates for NVIDIA or whatever, sometimes this stuff will get taken away. So use this uh, video as like a kind of a bookmark to come back to these settings. And you can always tweak these settings to however you like. But like I said, I've done a lot of testing on a lot of different maps and stuff like that. And I found these settings to be the best and share this video with people. Uh, not a lot of people know that you can do this and just change your game to make it look that much better and look just that much more detailed and you can see people better and all that stuff so thank you guys for watching if you liked the video if it helped you out any bit please leave a like i really appreciate it and subscribe if you're new and enjoy the game filters and i'll see you guys in the next one thank you very much peace